Some say rules and bones are meant to be broken. In my case, knees are on that list as well. Hello and welcome to WileyFit.com, where your body is the most important and dynamic piece of workout equipment you're ever going to have. I'm Thomas, and today on Wiley Fit on Fitness, we're going to be talking about my own personal experience with my knee injuries, surgeries, and rehabilitation, and how they created the impetus for me to become a personal trainer. We all have times that we get knocked down, but it's how we get back up that can change our lives onto a different path. But first, consider liking this video, subscribing, following, wherever you're seeing this content. It really helps us to bring future videos and projects. Again, this is my personal experience in some of the most physical impairing things that happened in my life, so take that with a grain of salt. It was the summer of 99 where the first knee injury took place. The other knee injury took place about two and a half years later. We'll get into that one later. The first knee injury took place about one month before young Thomas was about to enter into high school. As I write this stuff down, I am flooded with little tiny details, but more specifics on a later time. For now, let's stick to the brass tacks. In the process of improving my cardio for my first high school wrestling season, I took up soccer. During an in-team scrimmage, a fellow teammate was tailing me on my left when I had possession of the soccer ball, and I knew I couldn't outrun him, so I decided to get rid of the ball by kicking it with my right foot. During my kick, the teammate was so close, he tripped on my left planted foot, did a semi-somersault in front of my body, and landed into my fully extended right leg. And having a 130 to 140 pound teenager land on anybody's fully extended leg, it's most likely gonna result in hyperextension of the knee. My other teammates helped walk me over to the nearby swing set at the park we were doing the scrimmage, and that's where I waited until my parents picked me up to take me home. Shortly after, I went in for an examination of my knee with our family doctor who sent me in to get an MRI to see what was wrong. The MRI scan from the first doctor's perspective was something along the lines of just a bruised bone. This was definitely not the case and I really should have gotten a second opinion at that time. The first doctor implied it would be fine and I was clear to go into the wrestling season, but my knee would feel like it would slip out of place halfway through the two mile warm up run that the whole wrestling team had to go through I would then have to limp back to practice to the high school where I'd have to sit out the rest of the wrestling session. My parents and I decided it was high time we got a second opinion and the doctor's name that we went to was Dr. Smith and just by feeling my knee, he knew something was wrong. So he asked the initial office to send over the initial MRIs. A couple of days later, he told me that I had a torn medial meniscus, torn ACL, which I had to go under intrusive arthroscopic surgery to repair the knee and two steel pens with dissolving stitches, and the two steel pens are still in my knee as of today. Long story short, I made a full recovery and continued to wrestle, but two and a half years later, I was going on a hiking run and I landed on my left foot where my hips tried to go one way and my knee tried to go another, and that's where I felt a familiar knee pain. Long story short, again with that one, I had to go through the same surgery, but no steel pins, not as bad, but just as irritating. Near the end of my high school career, I decided to get into judo with my brother, which I consider judo more of a version of standing up wrestling, which is much better on my knees than staying down in that classic wrestling position. And me not being the most graceful judoka, I asked my judo coach, hey, what can I do to lighten up my feet? Heck, my nickname was Leadfoot Wiley, and it did make me a little harder to throw sometimes. My coach at that point, Terry Kelly, said, why not take some ballet classes? Football players, take it, why the heck can't you? So I enrolled in the Junior College Ballet 101, got a little bit more graceful to the point where the teacher said I should try out for the Young Men's Dance Guild, and got in third place, received 300 bucks with the sole purpose of me to continue my dance career. And that's where I met Shelly Scott, who was putting on an ongoing annual production of The Nutcracker, asked me if I wanted to be part of it, hesitant at first, but I figured, why not? accruing the roles of the father, the fox cavalier, the rat king, and one year later, the nutcracker prince. So in short, because of my knee injuries and surgeries, I went from wrestling to judo, then judo to ballet. It happens sometimes, I guess. Funny note, as I'm writing this down outside my local coffee shop, someone's car radio went to a commercial with the nutcracker song, Waltz of the Flowers. Weird timing, huh? From my physical therapy after my knee injuries and surgeries, 
all the way through my experience in ballet, my knees became stronger more than ever. And to this day, I still implement physical therapy and ballet techniques in my own training, as well as new and ongoing clients in their physical training. So even though we might have a physical setback we might go through, like injuries or surgeries, it's my opinion that we always ask questions, get a second opinion, and keep an open mind, and we might be surprised what new doors can open up. So there we have it. We'll talk more about physical therapy techniques, injury prevention in the future, along with some of the unconventional training, like ballet, that we can incorporate to some degree in our daily training. But what injury have you or someone you might know has come back from an injury, and what type of techniques helped you most? Leave a comment in the comment below and let us know. Again, consider liking this video, subscribing, following, wherever you're seeing this content. And if you want to take your healthy lifestyle to the next level, go ahead and email us in the email below. I'm Thomas, and we look forward to seeing you in the next phase of your fitness journey. And I'll catch you on the next one.